If Hillary Clinton uh, will win the presidency, she will be the first female president in America. What would you expect from her being Madame President? Well, in America it's not the president, it's an institution. So, of course, she will make history as a woman. Uh, I have, I, I'm, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm happy, but I hope that she can really prove to be the woman that I think of. That, but, but I doubt, I doubt that very much because again, she has to play the political game within the American institution, within the American system, and she has been playing it in the past, and she will be playing it in the future. But nevertheless, at least I'm sure that uh, for sure I would like to see Mrs. Clinton more than Mr. Trump in in in, in America. But for us. Uh, uh, hoping that uh, really uh, she as a woman and understanding that she's a powerful advocate of uh, women in, this, in, the, in, in third world countries and she has been doing great uh, work in that field. So I do that we really can see a woman that can have an impact on the global chaos that's going on now today and that she brings the good people and that she's surrounded with people that have really intelligent new vision about this world and that she really has her own and she walks her talks and but, but I was in America last week I was in New York and to be very honest with you the debate is very fierce against Mrs. Clinton and you know her Benghazi her, that she has also a lot of a lot of you know uh, I would say history behind her so I, I, I want to wait and see because we were happy with Mr. Obama when he came to power, but then he disappointed us, heavily disappointed us. So I don't know if this politician at this age being trapped in this political system that's bringing chaos to the globe, leading us to more wars, to more blood, you know, and I hope also to see that these international institutions keep their promises and change these people and bring the youth to the forefront and for the younger generation. Only the younger generation can bring the innovative ideas. It's fantastic what youth are trying to do in Libya. Fantastic. But who's giving them the chance? Who's listening to them? Neither the women. We are all away. Because we think. If you think, and if you think correctly. Of course, if you are a woman, if you think, if you are courageous, well, you have their own recipe. They told, they told me here at the EU, many people don't want to meet me. I'm too much straightforward, I'm too much of an activist. I'm not a diplomat. No, thank you, I don't want to be a diplomat. What's a diplomat to sit listening to you, insulting my people, insulting my country, and you want me to be quiet? No, I'm not interested in, in staying in Brussels or staying in the EU. Of course, I will always be, hopefully, cooperating with other departments for the benefits of my country with the EU. But uh, uh, if it's done wrong, no, it's no. I, I don't think that I will be happy to. I've been with, within this international circle. I've been with, very close within the UN community for 30 years. I know the corridors of this UN system inside out. They have to change. There must be pressure internationally, they have to make the game is over, they cannot continue to really contribute to this disaster in the globe, they have, and, and, and the, the European and the Western taxpayer, they are the ones who have the responsibility to stop them and question them.